Hello, my name is Chris Seiger and I'm a PhD candidate in Interactive Knowledge Development in Coastal Projects. I have a question for you. When was the last time you saw a PhD researcher explaining his research in an easy, understandable way? Well, today I tried to do this for my own research and I prepared a small movie for you explaining my research. Hopefully you enjoy the movie and also learn something about my PhD research. The topic of my PhD research is interactive knowledge development in coastal projects. My PhD research is a collaboration between the University of Twente, Deltares and Wageningen University. With interactive knowledge development, I focus on knowledge of three different groups, the researchers, the policy makers and the stakeholders. They are visualized in this movie by the red brains, the blue brains and the green brains. When we talk about the uptake of knowledge in decision making, it is often visualized like this. Knowledge from researchers is being used and eventually transformed into a decision taken by the decision makers. However, there are quite some reasons why knowledge from researchers is not being used in the decision making process. First, there can be problems with the quality. Sometimes knowledge from the researchers is not considered to be credible or adequate. Think for example about the earlier versions of IPCC reports which were heavily criticized in society. Another reason can be the legitimacy of researchers. Think about researchers who are funded by the tobacco industry. It is not likely that their research will be used in the decision making process. And a third reason has to do with scales. Think for example about my PhD research. It takes four years to finish it and therefore it is not likely to answer questions, pressing questions of decision makers that they have today or tomorrow. And therefore an alternative mode of knowledge production is often proposed. I call this mode interactive knowledge development. It combines knowledge from researchers, policy makers and stakeholders and is therefore capable to develop decisions that are broadly accepted by the parties involved. However, it is not easy to involve all those parties in a process of knowledge development. For example, if, researcher is, if researchers are excluded, decision makers and stakeholders develop negotiated nonsense. But if the decision makers are excluded, the researchers and the stakeholders develop irrelevant knowledge because the end user is not involved. And if the stakeholders are not included, it's very likely that the knowledge developed by researchers and decision makers becomes heavily criticized because it does not reflect the interests of the stakeholders. So what you see is that it's important to involve all those three groups in a process of knowledge development. Yet all those three groups have differing values and differing interests in a process of knowledge development. Therefore, the question my PhD research tries to answer is how can you organize such a process of interactive knowledge development? To answer this question, I focused on three coastal projects that develop solutions in the coastal zone one project focuses on dike reinforcements, another on nature restoration, and the last one on urban redevelopments. I looked into knowledge development and focused on solutions of the project. And I investigated how knowledge has been developed between the researchers, stakeholders, and decision makers in those projects. Solutions focused on dike reinforcements, on marsh restoration, and on urban planning ambitions. So what I found by looking into these three projects is that there are three things that you would need to organize such a process of interactive knowledge development. First, you would need the brains of a fourth group, the process facilitators. As those groups of researchers, policy makers and stakeholders have differing interests, you will need a process facilitator to ensure that the interests of all these groups are met and to ensure that they maintain involved in a process of interactive knowledge development. 
Secondly, you will need more time and money to organize such a process, since more meetings are needed between the differing groups. And also, it is very likely that because decision makers and stakeholders are involved from the start, more questions will be asked by those groups. And if you want to answer those questions, the researchers would need more time again. And lastly, what you need is complex knowledge and easy understandable knowledge. Obviously, the projects focus on complicated matters in the coastal zone and therefore researchers develop complicated research reports. Yet, if you want to ensure the involvement of decision makers and stakeholders, you have to be sure that you also develop simple and easy understandable knowledge. Otherwise, decision makers and stakeholders might easily walk away from the process of knowledge development because they are not, no longer interested. And therefore, you need both complex and easy understandable knowledge. I hope you enjoyed watching my movie and hopefully I succeeded in explaining my research in an easy understandable way. Thanks again for watching and in case you have any questions, Feel free to contact me. Bye.